restart now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you. I want to give you all the glory, God. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus into this prayer, Lord. I bleed the blood of Jesus, my God and my Father. In the name of Jesus, I throw the wall of fire around us, God. I commit the people of Periscope. I commit everyone into your hand, God. I pray, God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you and we thank you, Lord. We welcome your presence. We welcome Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You are a wonderful God. We welcome you. We welcome you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want you to pray like this. Pray, oh God, arise and let my situation change in the name of Jesus. Pray, oh God, arise and let my situation change in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my situation change in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my situation change in the name of Jesus. Pray like this, oh God arise and let my situation change in the name of Jesus. I pray that let God arise and let your situation change. Let every situation change what you are going through. Let it change in the name of Jesus. Every root of hardship in my life, I curse you and bound you. Lose your, yourself in the name of Jesus. Every root of hardship in your life, I command them. I cast them and I bound them and loose them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every root of hardness, hardship, there is roots of hardship. There is something very hard that you need to deal with it. Because the Lord is looking for warriors to attack demonic activities. Therefore, I pray that God, God will take, God will uproot every root of hardness in your life in Jesus' name. I pray that God, God will uproot every hardship in your life, any powers of darkness that is working against you. Let God uproot them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the head, let your head reject every covenant of failure. Every covenant of failure, let your head reject your mind, your head reject every covenant of failure. I pray that there is some covenant of failure. In your head, in your mind, you tell yourself that you are, you are a failure or you cannot do anything. I pray that God Almighty, let your, your head reject every covenant of failure. Any covenant, wherever you have covenanted, that you have told your mind, you have told your head that I am a failure, I can't do anything, you give up, you get discouraged. I break that covenant. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. You are heard reject the covenant of failure in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Say, pray like this. My head reject the covenant of failure in the name of Jesus. You know, when sometimes it's not you. It is the powers of darkness. That's why God wants to destroy the, the demonic activities. It is the demonic. That it is demons. That is making you. You feel like you can't do anything because you try this, you find this. So you have to pray the prayer, the prayer of failure. You have to tell your head, your mind, reject every covenant, reject every negative, reject every failure in the name of Jesus. Talk to yourself. Say you, my head, hear the word of God. Reject every covenant of failure. I command the covenant of failure to get out of my life. You tell yourself good things. Because these are the demons. They are demons that is talking to you. You feel like you are a fairy. You feel you can't do anything. You are not a fairy. You are the head. You are not the tail. You are the head. In the name of Jesus. Pray. Tell everything. Tell your blood to reject every covenant of sickness. Tell your blood. Tell your, your body. Tell your mind. Tell your everything in your body. Tell your body to reject every covenant of sickness. Covenant of sickness is the sick you call my sickness. You, you say my blood pressure, my heart attack, my, my headache, my sickness. Don't call that. That is not your sickness. It is demon sickness. It is certain sickness. That's why 
you pray my blood reject the covenant of sickness in the name of jesus my blood reject the covenant of sickness in the name of jesus keep on giving me hearts thank you thank you jesus hallelujah you 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 know words are powerful that's why you need to pray like this you say my blood reject the covenant of sickness in the name of jesus you know the enemy make you to 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 make a covenant you call sickness my sickness you call your, your poverty my poverty you call you you know you take things of the devil you call yours like for example sickness sickness is not yours it is from the devil but you call my sickness yeah you give a name my sickness so the sickness will say yes you are my i am yours so you are a covenant you are a partner with it talk to them say my blood my blood reject the covenant of sickness my body my head reject the covenant of sickness in the name of jesus every power hired to pull you down fall down and disgrace in jesus name so you 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 command every power hired to bring you down there is some powers that have, have been hired by demons have been hired by lucifer i have been hired to bring you down Every time they press you so much. Yes, this is the difficult time. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like this prayer or not. It is a very difficult time. This, they call it perilous, uh, per, per, perilous time. It is time of difficulty. It is time whereby selfish people are, are so selfish. It is the time. It is very difficult time. So that's why the Lord is looking for warriors to attack the demons demonic activities demonic activities what is going on it is not you it is not you or it is not those people you need to go by fire by thunder by force to attack the enemies when the enemy is bringing you down always you are down they are pressing you down they have been hired you know the bible tell us that they the the baharam barak hired balam to cast the children of israel so there is powers they go and hire witch doctor. They go and pay evil people to cast you out to bring you down. So you will stand against them. You command them. You command them. You, you say, every power hired to put me down, fall down and disgrace in Jesus' name. You have to pray like that. You revise it. You command them. You cannot be down all the time. And the enemy is happy. is, is rejoicing. And you, you are down. You are being pressed down. You cannot live that life. You have to refuse. That's why the Bible says, the kingdom of God serves the violent, and the violent will take by force. You must be very violent and aggressive. Yes, I want to pray about violence prayers. You pray, the lion of Judah, roar, pursue affection out of my life in Jesus' name. Ask the, the lion of Judah to roar and pursue your affection. Ask the, the lion of Judah, Jesus Christ. You know the Bible called the devil is a lion, but it's not a lion. It's just roaring to scare people and to, to catch people. You know, that's why you need to pray. The lion of Judah roar and pursue, uh, uh, pursue affection out of my life in Jesus' name. So when you pray like the prayer like that, so you give Jesus permission to roar, to roar like a lion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I. you need help. Yes, I can help you. I am here to pray to pray for you. So therefore, you let me know. If you can call me, I will give you the number to call me. So you, I can pray for you. I am here to pray for you and to stand to stand with you. You are my, my family. You are my friends. So you need two are better than one. Therefore, I am here to help you to stand with you. The number I'm going to give you to call and I will pray with you. So you ask the Lion of Judah to roar and pursue affection out of your life. You pray that God, the, the Lion of Judah, roar and pursue affection out of my life in Jesus' name. You have to pray every, every witchcraft agenda for my life. You are a liar in the name of Jesus. There is witchcraft. Whether you like it or not, some people, they don't believe witchcraft. But the truth of the matter, there is witchcraft agenda. The witchcraft can go and do things because they are, they are, they are using powers of darkness. And they, will, they can make you to suffer 
but you you command them because the Bible says, let you know the wheat to live. You command them, they are liars. You have power. You, you don't fear them. They are liars. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. You know, there's no need of you to talk stupid words. There's no need. I am a prophet of God. Therefore, remember, if you press me, I will press you. If you cast me automatically, you are cast from heaven. So don't use those words. But I am want to talk about them. Anyway, special announce announcement, road of affliction, close it in the name of Jesus. Close it in the name of Jesus. Special announcement, special an an announcement, road of affliction, road of affliction, close in the name of Jesus. Every road of affliction, close in the name of Jesus. Yes, you cross every road of affliction. You cross every door. You know, the enemy is looking any door to come in and affect you. When they get a chance to come in, they will torment you so much. They will torment you so hard. That's why you have to cross every, every, every door of affliction. You cross them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you, you, you have to command every power that is working against you. You, you have to stop them. Network of witchcraft in your place of birth, in your place where you are living, you destroy them. You command them, get out of my life. You witchcraft, you powers of darkness, get out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every evil hand pointing at your star, weather in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You command every evil hand pointing at your star, pointing at your work. Pointing at you, you command them to be roasted, to be weathered in Jesus' name. There was a young king, there was a young prophet, and a king. Now, when the prophet went to, 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 to announce what they are doing, this king wanted to kill the, the, the prophet. The prophet announced, the prophet announced, the prophet, when he, he tried to attack the prophet, his hand was weathered. So his hand was weathered. Therefore, there is power of evil hand pointing at your star, pointing at your work. So you command that hand to be weathered in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now you command this, you pray like this. Every arrow of sickness in my destiny, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of sickness in my destiny, scatter in the name of Jesus. You command arrows of sickness. There are arrows that are fired to people. Many people are sick. People are not healthy. So many people are Few people, most people, they are very healthy. Even pastors, even some people, they are really very sick. Those are the arrows. They are arrows of sickness. In your, you command them, get out of my destiny. Arrows of sickness, I am not your candidate. Therefore, out, get out in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, I pray. I have so many prayers to pray with you, but I have to, to talk to you the word of God. Yes, my God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Um, we are looking the, the, from the book of Ephesians, the book of Ephesians uh, 4, verse 31 to 32. The Lord is looking for, pe for warriors who can attack the demonic. The Lord is looking for warriors who can attack demonic activities. The Lord is looking for warriors to attack demonic activities. This is, this is the topic I'm going to talk to you. The Lord is looking for warriors to attack demonic activities. And I'm going to read from the book of Revelations. The book of Revelations, that, the, the book of Revelations 4, verse 31, Let's start from verse 29. Verse 29. Verse 29 to 32. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are wonderful. You are a good God. The Bible says, Do not use folk or abusive language let everything you say be good and, and help, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. And do not bring sorrow 
to God is Holy Spirit by where you live. Remember, he has identified you as his own grant, grant, grantaring that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. So, the Bible is talking, do not use folk or abusive language. Some people, they are using this folk or abusive language, like what it is happening. That's why I said I'm going to talk that, for people not to use those languages, because we are not here to hear those languages. The Bible is against them. Therefore, where, they, where there is a cause, there is a curse. Now, when you use those words, and I speak the word against you, it will work for you. Therefore, people of God, you have to behave. If you come to Periscope, you are coming. If you don't need to be there, you are not forced to be there. Don't even come in. Go away because there is no need. You are going to carry a curse for nothing. I was listening to a lady. She was so depressed and, and annoyed when people were cursing her. And this woman was, I, I told her, you don't have to worry about them because you have not done anything. They are wicked. There are people who are very wicked. They, 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 have, they, have, they, have, they have no life. So they come to Periscope, disrespect people, to curse people and say bad words. So when you see them, you don't have to worry about them. Because the word of God has refused them and has said that be kind to one another according to the book of Ephesians. So when somebody is cursing you and you have not done anything, then you, you issue a curse against that person. If, if I speak the, the word, a word against that person, that person will not go free. So people of God, if you don't need to be in the periscope, don't be there. Because you are not, you are not forced to be there. Don't come and speak words which, which, will, come, which will destroy your life for, for no reason. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I saw the woman was so much mad about what was happening. And I, and I told her that you don't have to be mad because these people... They, 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 they have been wasted. They, they have been, they have, they, you don't worry about them. So I'm, I'm talking to you that let God arise and let his enemy be. be. Let, let God arise and let his enemy be scattered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, as, 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 I'm, as I'm talking to you that God is looking warriors. Who can attack the demonic activities? Uh, a man of, of God called uh, Elijah. Elijah. Elijah made the demon cry when he destroyed 400 witchcraft. When he rises up and, and commanded and called the witches and asked them, You witchcraft, you have power. Now bring, 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 come, let us see who has power, whether you witchcraft or God. The witchcraft were there, and they called the fire. The fire did not come. But a man of God called the fire, and the fire fell down. Now Elijah told them, you will, be, you will arrest, you are not going anywhere. So Elijah made this witchcraft to die. He killed them, all of them. If he did not kill them, they could have killed them. So God is looking at a person who does not fear demons, who can confront them face by face, who can confront them spiritually and, and physically. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God is looking for, for, for a man and a woman to go to the kingdom of darkness and fight the enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. This is the time where the men, the last days, evil men and seduce shall fox stronger. This is the time you will condemn them. You can command the powers of darkness to stop in Jesus' name. This is the time you know Jesus himself. He gave us power and authority against the works of darkness, against the activities of the devil. You know, everyone was given this power. He said, you will cast out the demons in my name. You will confront them. You will confront them. There was a lady. She was... Uh, she was preparing to get married. The people were sitting. 
were sitting waiting to, for the wedding. And then the day of, the, of that time, when the times come, this girl, this lady, she fall mad. She just got mad immediately when, when, they, when people have come, they were singing and they dancing, they were celebrating, and the, 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 the woman just started to become crazy. And she removed the clothes. She started screaming. And she, she fell down, she rolled down. She, she just she wanted to run away. And people were holding her. The, it, the place was standing still. You know that is the work of witchcraft. That is the work of demons. The demons disgraced the woman because people they didn't know what to do. And the pastor did not know how to confront the demons. So they had to rush the woman to the hospital. And the wedding was cancelled. This is how the, the enemy is. But if there was a woman or a man of God, who knows this spirit of warfare prayer, this woman could not, that thing could not happen. Because she could, he, he could confront the demons. He could lay hands to that woman and stop the activities of the devil. That's why God is looking for a spiritual warfare warriors to stand in front of the enemies and confront them. Demons have done so much and they have disgraced people. But if you know this spirit of warfare, nothing can happen like that. You know, we, we, we have been given power and authority against the works of the devil. Therefore, this is the time that you will confront the devil. You don't have to fear them. This is the time you need to connect, you need to connect with the prophetic and, the, and, the, and the condemn the demonic activities. You need to connect with the prophets and 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 and, and, and apostles. Prophets and apostles are the ones that you need to connect with and, and other people. Yes, I know pastors are there, I know evangelists are there, I know teachers are there, but a prophet, when he speaks the word, you have to be careful. That is what it will happen. Because God uses them, and God has been using from, from Genesis to Revelation. So apostle, when apostle says something, that is, you have to be careful with it. So that, therefore, a man of God was sent to preach. And when he, when he went to preach, the witchcraft gathered together. They said, today we are going to kill, we are going to disgrace them. And then when they said everything, the speakers, the man of God started, was invited the, 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 the demons went and strike the lights. So the, the place became dark. The, the lights could not, they, they, they attacked the, the lights. Now this man of God was ready and he had, he was powerful man of God. So he said, you witchcraft and powers of darkness in this place, if you cannot repent tonight, you will be carried dead. And that is what the word of God says. And don't, don't stop the work of God. Because the Bible, Jesus himself has said, the gates of hell are not prevailed to the church. Now here, these people, the enemies, the witchcraft and witches, they planned to disgrace this man, to kill him, just there, there, there at the meeting. The man of God commanded them and the issues are cast against them. And some of the witchcraft came and repent and the right came and the man of God was able to preach it's, it's message until the, the, the conference was over. So there's power that you need to confront. The God is looking for warriors who can confront the demons, who can confront the witchcraft, who can pro confront physically and spiritual powers of darkness. Therefore, people of God, you don't have to fear. You have to stand firm and confront them. Many people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. We are binding witches outside, but the rebellious are inside. Sometimes we bind and we bind the witches outside and we leave the ones in the rebellious inside. That's why you know the enemy gets access so much. People of God, we need to stand firm and confront the powers of darkness. Darkness does not fight darkness. Darkness does not fight darkness. So you must declare that you are living in the right. You are in living in the right way. If you know the truth and you don't want to work on the truth, then you give the enemy access to work on you. Therefore, you cannot, you, darkness can, does not fight darkness. That's why if you are a child of God, you are a child of born again child of God, you live in the light. 
Once you know the truth and you don't want to follow the truth, then it is very hard for you to cast out the demon. Even the demon would laugh at you and say, we, you know, you cast us. You, 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 we know you are, our, you are ours. So you, you have to confront and you have to declare war because God is looking warriors who can confront, who can attack the demons without fear. It is a wicked deception to attempt to confront darkness with the darkness. The darkness within puncture, within punctures holy respect. It is the time to disrespect you. The enemy, they will disrespect you. When you, you, are, you are living in darkness, you are not living in the right way, the enemy will disrespect you. They, they cannot recognize you. When you try to cast them, they will not go. They will look at you and laugh at you. Even they can attack you. That is when more, a lady was telling me that when he pray, that is when he gets a lot of attack. You see, we have people in the book of New Testament, uh, when the children of, of Sarkaf, they were casting the, the, the demons, the, the demon asked them, we know Paul, we know Jesus, who are you? Yeah? Who are you to cast us? So now, any time when you try to pray or to cast out demons, they come and attack you, watch yourself. Repent and ask God, what did I do? What is it that I, it comes back fire me? Why? And, the, and you have given us power and authority to cast out demons. Therefore, people of God, you have to stand firm without fear to cast out demons and live light. The moment you don't live light, that's why you see the, 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 the demons will fight you and come to, to overtake you and bring more disaster against you, disrespect you. Remember the book of the book of Ephesians, what it says, the, how, it, how, how the book of Ephesians was said. So because of that, that's why you find that you cannot confront the enemy. Therefore, people of God, you should live the right way so that you can be able to confront the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil operates, operates, operates when there is access. When you when there is a door open on doors, that is when they come. They, they, that's when he can operate. When the devil came to see. When they came, the, the devil came to Adam and Eve. He was communicating with them. He started talking with a woman, Eve. And the Eve, Eve was talking to the devil. The more, the more she was talking to the devil, the more the devil was deceiving her, deceiving them. So the more you talk to the devil, the more the devil gets in and bring disaster and bring destruction and sickness. Now, that's why you need to be informed about these works of the devil. That's why you need to know that the devil is Satan, is Lucifer, he is not your friend. When you use his words, when you use his things, it, it automatically it cannot leave you. Bitterness. Let's look at the book of uh, second, first bidder. 2 verse 1. The Bible says, Therefore, write, get, therefore, read yourself all the malicious and all decept, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. You know, hypocrisy, hypocrites, or hypocrisy, envy, envy. You see people with envy, jealousy, this cannot, you can't cast the devil with that spirit. You belong to them. So, God is looking people who are warriors, who can confront, who can attack demons. That Now, you cannot at attack demons if you have the spirit of envy. If you, are the spirit, you have the spirit of jealousy. If you don't like other people. You cannot be warriors. You can't cast the demons. If you, if you are you are if, if you don't live the right way that one you can't cast demons and that's why many people you find them they are so rebellious they are enemy they don't want to see anybody with anything even churches even Christian I'm talking to Christian people who knows God they feel so angry they feel jealous 
And that's why many people are suffering because of that. Somebody decided to go and hire, hire a witch to hire a person to come and cast him. So you can't, you can't do that. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you. Let's pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you, my God. Yes, Lord, my Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all evil arrows from demonic agents fashioned against you, I command them to receive fire of God and melt to ashes in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will deliver you. God will take away every arrows over demonic agents fashioned against you. I command them to receive the fire of God and melt to ashes in Jesus' name. God has, has given us so much that we have to take it. God has even said that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Shall pro prosper. prosper means that we come and take over and take everything in your life. God has said nothing will come and take everything to your, your life. You see sickness, when it comes to you, it takes everything. Everything you have. You, it takes the job. It takes your joy. It takes your love. It takes everything. You cannot be happy. You can't enjoy. You can't enjoy even your husband. You cannot be happy even with your children. You can't laugh. You, you are miserable. You are so in pain. So that is the weapon that has come and prosper. But the Bible says it will not prosper. Therefore, every sickness, every diseases, all evil arrows from demonic agents fashioned against you, I command them to receive the fire of God and to melt to ashes in Jesus' name. I am praying to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. So I'm praying right now. I will not be able to talk to you. So I love you so much and I thank God for you. Therefore, I cannot be able to talk to you because I'm, I want to pray for you. Anybody who is suffering with sickness, diseases, financial, uh, financial issues, I am praying that the Lord Almighty will, will, will bless you and open new doors for you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. Let the power and the anointing of God that breaks evil yokes fall upon you now and break all evil chains, evil feathers, and the evil bands of, of your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will, will break the Lord Almighty, the Lord that we serve, let the powers and anointing of God that breaks evil yokes. You know Isaiah 10 verse 27. The Bible says anointing, anointing that breaks the yoke. So I pray that let the power and the anointing of God that breaks evil yokes fall upon you now and break all evil chains, evil feathers, and the evil bands of your life, from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God Almighty will break every evil chain, every evil feathers, and every evil bands of your life. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil doors, evil doom of evil, every evil that has touched your life for evil, I command them to receive tormentment of the Holy Spirit and be confounded and confused in the name of Jesus. I pray that evil doors of evil, the evil that is coming to dwell in you, to live in you, the evil have, have, have been sent and they are staying in your house, in you. Any evil, any powers of darkness that is touching your life, for evil. Let them receive the tormentment of the Holy Spirit and be confounded and confused in Jesus' name. You know the Bible says uh, the Lord will raise up a standard of, 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 of Holy Spirit to fight them. When the enemy comes like floods, the Lord will raise up the Holy Spirit to fight them. That's what the Bible says. So the Holy Spirit will, will torment your tormentors will torment your enemy, will torment every powers of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the Holy Spirit, you know the Holy Spirit is a weapon. When the Holy Spirit, that's why the Bible says that God will raise up the Holy Spirit to fight them. They will come like floods. 
evil will come to you, but the Lord will raise up the Holy Spirit to fight them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I declare that every pronouncement from demonic agency against you shall not stand. Neither shall they come to pass in the name of Jesus. Yes, I declare, I promise I, to your life, I decree and declare by the power in the blood of Jesus that every pronouncement from demonic agents against you shall not stand. Neither shall they come to pass in the name of Jesus. The curse is that even when you dream, when you are dreams, you know dreams, they are warning, they are monitors, they are, they are telling you something. So they can cut you through dreams. They can issue a curse in, in a dreams. And then when you wake up, if you don't do anything about it, it will happen. Therefore, I am praying and I prophesy to your life right now and I decree by the power and the blood of Jesus that every pronouncement from the demonic agents against you shall not stand. Neither shall, shall they come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in Jesus' name. Let every demon depart against your life. Receive confession and fight themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them receive confession and fight themselves in Jesus' name. Every demon that is racing against you. And let every demon, demon despair against your life. Receive confession and fight themselves in Jesus' name. Let them fight themselves. Let them change the direction and start fighting themselves. We pray like that. That's spiritual warfare prayer. Yes, in the name of Jesus. When you issue such a prayer, the demon will not, will not stand. They will run away. Because God is looking for warriors who can attack them. Activities of the demons. You say every demon, despite against my life, against me, against my children, receive conviction and fight yourself. That's why we have a prayer back to the center. Every dark projection and manipulation against you, against your life, be rendered narrow and avoid in Jesus' name. I pray that God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, manipulation, darkness, projection, and manipulation, let them be rendered powerless in Jesus' name. I pray that every dark projection and manipulation against you be rendered narrow and avoid in Jesus' name. Let it be rendered narrow and avoid in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I pray against familiar spirits. Any familiar spirits representing you in the dark world, fall down and die in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every familiar spirit that is representing you in the king in the dark, in the dark world. I command them to fall down and die. You need them to die. This spirit death should be destroyed in Jesus' name. They take, they go and represent you in the world, in the dark of world. They call your name. They give the, the, the witchcraft your name. And then they, and the, the witchcraft will start condemning you, cursing you. Any familiar spirits representing you in the dark world, I command them to fall down and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heaven Father. I am praying this is prayer because God is looking for, for, for warriors who will attack the demonic activities of Satan. We, we pray that God, you powers of your father's house, using ancestral mistake to make you suffer, I command them to die. They are the powers of your father's house, all powers of your mother's house, using mistakes that your father did or your parents did. To make you suffer. You, even you pay the debts that you, you didn't own. Because of the mistake of your father did or your mother did. Now they are using you to attack them. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed in Jesus name. Inherited uh, 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 sickness and diseases. They are the powers that, that, that is affecting people. That is affecting you. The mistakes which your parents did. Maybe your parents they didn't know God. They were serving other gods because they were living in the world they didn't know God. 
Now that because of that, now the enemy is using against, are using against them, are using against you. It cannot happen. It cannot happen. Whatever your parents did, that those are your parents, and they were they were not Christian either. You, you are a Christian. Now they are using against you. Let those power be destroyed in Jesus' name. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, my Father. I thank you, Lord. I give you all the glory, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray every investigation demon. You know, there's demons who are investigators. They come to investigate you. I guide them demons and dedicated demon assigned to your life, assigned against you. I command them to receive the fire of God and be separated from you in the name of Jesus. Every investigation demon, guided demon, and dedicated demon assigned to your life, I command them to receive the fire of God and bind to ashes in Jesus' name. And bind to ashes. Those demons, you command them, don't come to investigate me. I am covered by the blood of Jesus. I am covered. I am I am circled with the blood of Jesus. You command those demons to get out of your life in the name of Jesus. There are demons that, that have been assigned by Lucifer to come and investigate you. They, they come like flint. They are friendly. They, they, they come, they pretend that, that you are a friend, that, but they are not a friend. At night, they go and report you to the kingdom of darkness. They are called they are called investigation demons. They are like investigators. So, this demon, when they investigate everything, they go and report you to the kingdom of darkness. Then you get a lot of attack. You wonder why, what did you do? When you share, when you talk, they hear. And they go and report to the kingdom of darkness. That's why I am praying that let the fire of God consume them. Let them be separated in the name of Jesus. Every demonic bad, bad luck and chain used against you in the dark world, I command them to catch fire and cut to pieces in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. I, I feel the Holy Spirit is telling me some people, they, are, they need this prayer, they need deliverance. You need this prayer because some of you, they, you are being chained, you are bad luck. They, they have locked you down. So when they are locked you and chain you, nothing can happen to you. They chain your hands, they rock you, and they take the, knock, the, 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 the lock. Therefore, therefore, I am praying to you right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, every demonic bad lock and chains used against you in the dark world, I command them to cut fire and cut to pieces in Jesus' name. We use the fire. To, to, to burn the rock and the chains. Because there is nothing that we can use apart from the fire of God. The fire of God will go to that bad rock and the chains to burn them to ashes. When, when, when this fire will go, you will be set free. I pray that God will touch that, this person. People who have been rocked down. People who have been chained in the dark, in the dark world. Let them be set free in Jesus name. Evil, every evil dominion and the controlling of your life by evil spirit, I command them to break by fire in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is spiritual warfare prayer. And I know many of you are going to be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I pray, every evil do, uh, dominion and the controlling of your life by evil spirit, break by fire. In, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father. I pray that God Almighty. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I release, I release you from every negative subjection to anything or a person in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, my Father. I praise your name, God. I thank you, Jesus. My God and my Father, I commit your people into your hand. Anyone who is subject to any negative person, Lord, my Father, I risk this person in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that every evil or ordinance against your life, I command them to, to be rendered narrow and avoid in Jesus' name. My Father and my God, I want to thank you, God. Let the spirit of confusion come upon every satanic agent, satanic priest, and prophets. 
hired against your life in the name of Jesus. This is very good prayer. There are satanic agents, satanic priests, satanic prophets. There are false prophets. There are false teachers. There are false pastors. Therefore, let the spirit of conviction come, come upon every satanic agent, satanic priests, set, and prophets hired against your life in Jesus' name. Let them, let, let, let conviction fall upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every counsel and, and decision by satanic priests and the prophets for your life shall not stand. Neither shall they come to pass in Jesus' name. Everything they are planning, every counsel of, of satanic priests and, and false prophets, that, that, that the words there will not stand against you in the name of Jesus. You know, sometimes the, the satanic, the satanic priest, evil priest, satanic priest, or satanic prophets, they can prophesy words, things against your life, but it is not going to stand. I cancel it in Jesus' name. I am setting you free. I am praying every satanic prophecy that you have received from the kingdom of darkness. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. You satanic priest and the prophets hired against this life, hired against you. I command them, drink your own portion and fall into your evil desires in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I pray that you satanic priests and the prophets hired against the life of this person. I pray that you drink your own portion and fall unto your evil desire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you, Father. Let your name be coated with the fire of God wherever it is being called for evil. Let the thunder fire of God answer in the name of Jesus. I pray, let your name be coated with the fire of God wherever it is mentioned. Call for evil. Let the thunder of God answer in Jesus' name. When your name is coated with the fire, I am telling you that when they mention your name, they, the thunder will strike them. This kingdom of darkness, they don't like they don't like the light. You are a child of God, and your name has been coated with the fire. When they mention your name, the thunder fire will locate them and strike them in Jesus' name. I pray that let your name be coated with the fire of God. Wherever it is being called for evil, let the thunder fire of God answer it in Jesus' name. When they call you for evil, let the thunder fire of God answer in Jesus' name. Anybody that is cursing you, anybody that is doing evil, let the hand of God answer them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, every evil tree planted to your life by evil priests and the prophets be uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted by fire. It, um, God was teaching me about the, about the last days uh, and from the book of Matthew 24. The Bible, Matthew 24 from 24, you, if you can read that the, the scripture, you can see what the Bible is talking about. The Bible says the last days, false prophets will rise up. False teachers, they will even call themselves Jesus. They will do wonders and signs. They will deceive many and even the Jews and one. They deceiving. This is the time. This is the time we had where the, there is already a false prophet around. And we pray that God Almighty will, will destroy them, will remove you from your life. Because the Bible says, even the chosen one will be deceived. You cannot be deceived by false prophets. You cannot be deceived. They cannot teach you. You know, they have multitude. So every evil tree planted to your life by evil priests and the prophets be uprooted by fire in Jesus' name. The, these people, the evil prophets and the false prophets, false teachers, they, they can plant a evil, they call evil trees. You know the Bible says evil trees which does not bear fruits, it will be uprooted. It will be uprooted and thrown to the fire. Therefore I pray because of that, the, the, the things they are planted to your praying to your head, that it make you to, to, be, to be deceived. I pray that God Almighty will uproot them and throw them to the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Any area of your life being controlled by any demonic, 
receive the blood of Jesus and be set free in Jesus' name. Every evil garment and portion in your body, I cast you out by fire of God in Jesus' name. I pray that God, let your blood be transfused with the blood of Jesus. Let your blood to transfer, transfer with the blood of Jesus. Let your blood mix with the blood of Jesus to, so that it, it cannot carry, it cannot hold any sickness. It can hold, not hold any demon. Let your blood become fire with the blood of Jesus. Let your blood become fire extension that would destroy and render powerless to the power, to the power of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, I pray that God Almighty, every demonic point of contact to the lender, to the ladder, every demonic point of contact to the lender, you know the ladder? The ladder is where you cram, you pass. So, this demonic contact, the ladder of your destiny, I command them to catch fire. Any ladder, anything connecting you with the demon, Anything that the demon is using to, con to get contact with you, I cut it in Jesus' name. Yes, I cut it. Any ladder that is coming to you, any, any door it has been, yes, correct the ladder. Correct, my dear. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I have these prayers. The prayers I have with me here. So I pray that God Almighty Yes, I cut that ladder. You shall be set free. I prophesy to your life. Every ladder that the enemy is using to catch, to come to your life, to come to you, I cut it. And you shall be set free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you. Any object representing your glory at the end of witchcraft covenant, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any object Anything, any point of contact, anything that is connecting you with the witchcraft, I command them to catch fire in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, I thank you, sister, thank you, yes. Yeah, you cannot be, you, you, can, you cannot be represented, your glory cannot be represented to witchcraft covenant. I command them to catch fire. Your glory, I command your glory to jump out. Jump out from the covenant of witchcraft in Jesus' name. Any object representing your glory at any witchcraft covenant. Let me explain to you the glory. Sometimes you dream that people are, are touching your hair or cutting your hair. That is, they are taking your glory. So you have to pray for your glory to come back. You pray blood of Jesus, buy my glory. Blood of Jesus, I need my glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sister. Thank you very much. Thank you, my sister Devara. She's giving the address because I will have my party day. My party day is coming. My party day is coming 20th, 20th of May. 20th of May. And we will have our the same time anniversary. We will do it here on Periscope. We shall be celebrating that first week. We'll be doing a lot of fun. We'll have a lot on the prayer line and everything. So uh, our, our, our address, as my sister is showing, it is there. So you can stop the, the periscope. You copy the address. If you want to participate, if you want to, to, say, to send a card, wherever. And if you want to show to my life, to the ministry, you are welcome. Thank you very much. I am praying that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. We'll continue from here. We, we, we have, I have a lot of prayer. I have a lot of prayer, prayer that I need to pray with you. And you, you, you call me. Many people are calling me. I don't charge you. The only thing I ask if you can give love offering. And you know, it is good that you bless a woman of God. You bless the work of God. Yes? So, uh, please, this is what I always tell the people. That the Bible says, even if you are poor, you can be afford even one cent, even ten cents, to put a, a, to to plant a seed for your miracle for your breakthrough. But I people calls me, and I pray for them. They get the answers. People have been calling me. So many people are calling me, calling me. I pray for them. 
Some preachers, some pastors go to their website and see. But here I am for you. It is my time to come and celebrate with me. 28th of May, I, it's my birthday and it is the same time our anniversary. So our anniversary will do here in Benesco because everybody, I want everybody to be happy and enjoy with me. So I will bring it here in Benesco. We don't have to come here. We'll do it. We'll do it. We will have conference in some places, but this anniversary we want to celebrate right here with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. You will see me a lot. Maybe you've been you have been missing me some few of days, couple of days. Yes, I need to to rest a little bit because I've been doing a lot of periscope. So I need to break and have a rest a little bit. Thank you very much. I have to stop here. The newcomers, those who do not have my, our number, sister Deborah, the number is there. 877-241-3420, extension 101. Our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. That is all the, our contacts that are there. My sister Deborah, she's doing amazing work. She's always pulling up the address. That is the website. You stop the you stop it and you copy it. So you can get us. Also, that is our number, direct number, 905-487-7196. That one is the, our direct number. You can always reach me. You can you can call. You can go. Yes, this is the number. If you want to send any gift, you want to send anything, you can look at that peer box. You can look at that the address. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yes, I need that. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I am, I'm going to start a school of prayer so that people can join and, and we, can, we can form a warriors, deliverance, spiritual warriors prayer. Thank you. I need you. I need your prayers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. More. Thank you. Thank you. Those people have been praying. I need you because... I need you. Even Paul was asking the, the, the church to pray for them. Thank you for those who have been praying for me, and I will pray for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful time. See you. I will, I will come. You will see me a lot now. I'm preparing to bring prayers to pray for you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. This, uh, this prayer, it is going to be in our web website, YouTube. It is going to be there. There's a lot of prayers. And even the last week, last weekend, the prayers are still there. You can help yourself. Thank you very much. Share this periscope. Share these videos. Pass it to your friends. Many people, they don't, uh, they don't know these prayers. I'm telling you that these prayers work. Even if you recent them, you repeat them the way I'm praying to you, God will help you. And the demon will be, be stop tormenting you. You've been tormented a lot. So you need these prayers. Thank you very much. God bless you. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Siki. God bless you and have a wonderful time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, my friends. <laughs>